Guess what showed up on my yard? Army worms. I was out here the other day and I looked and I had a big brown spot in my yard. Get out there and there they are. Army worms eating my lawn. Tip of the day for the army worms. If you're going to pick on somebody's yard, how about not the local lawn guys because he's going to make an example out of you. So here's the situation. This is what I started noticing. We're in late August during the time of this video. You see the yard's relatively green and then what do you see? big brown spot now the part that threw me off was we've had some hot dry weather lately and I've got a spot over here where there's a septic tank with real shallow soil and it was starting to turn brown I was like well that's interesting why is this turning brown maybe it's drying out well then I get down here and start looking around and guess what I found right there and he brought a lot of his friends with him and that's what happened. You know, they love Bermuda grass. Sometimes there'll be thousands of them on a particular yard. And you can see where they've just worked this over and took the green color out. Now my grass isn't dead. I'm not too worried about it. But I'm going to show you how to take care of these army worms. And today's video is sponsored by Graham Spray Equipment. If you need a spray rig for your lawn care business, then go with the company I've been using for years. Graham Spray Equipment. Check them out at GrahamSE.com or give them a call. They can customize a rig for your needs. So let's go over just a few little quick things to know about army worms. First off, yes they can do a lot of damage to your yard very quickly as i said they typically not going to kill the lawn but just like you notice in my yard they can make a large area brown very quickly within a couple of days just depending on how many of them you have in the yard but you can go from green to brown really quick and my understanding as well as my experience has been that they love bermuda grass and by far choose that over zoysia i'm not sure about st augustine love somebody tell me if they eat st augustine and i've been told that they won't touch centipede grass centipede's got his own problems with spittle bugs and things like that but army worms is not one that to be concerned about let me see if i can find some more army worms for you to show you because i want to show you what they look like because i often get calls from customers and they find a caterpillar and they say it's an army worm usually if it's just one caterpillar it's probably not an army worm because they definitely travel in bunches you can see this little guy on my thumb you see basically a perspective of how big they are seems like the smaller ones have a little bit more green in them as they get a little bit larger they may turn kind of grayish brown Sometimes they'll be vertically stuck on the stalk of the plant, just eating away. Sometimes there'll be so many, it looks like your grass is moving. You know, that guy's just vertical on the grass there. There's one of his friends right there. You touch them, they just go crazy. A little bit bigger one there that turns a little more brownish gray color now let's talk about some treatment options for army worms for identification a lot of times they show up in august september a couple years ago I had a really bad outbreak and they came early seemed like it was in july but if you start noticing that your yards had plenty of rain and something starts turning brown you might want to go look and try to investigate what's making it brown if you see a lot of caterpillars it could be army worms might even notice a lot of birds hovering around in that area eating the army worms and i had chickens at one time let them out and the chickens would go over there and start eating them so if you see this it's something you may want to look into now let's talk about a couple of treatment options this product is called Talstar professional Talstar p and it is the active ingredient bifenthrin now you can get generic bifenthrin i'll put a link in the description to some of these products now this product is going to do a great job of just killing the army worms and this is what we're going to use today. Now if you want to do some sort of preventative treatment and you don't want to get army worms, then you might want to look for a product that has the active ingredient acelaprin. Again, I'll try to put a link in the description for that as well. Acelaprin is going to kill the army worms if they're there, but also can give you weeks and weeks of protection where the Talstar Pro is mostly just going to kill the existing ones there, but oftentimes that's enough. Sometimes yards do get hit multiple times in the same year, but but a lot of times if you see them in the fall and you're able to knock them out with the bifenthrin, this is this Talstar product, then it's good. But depending on what time of year you get hit with army worms, your grass may or may not have time to green back up. But again, in this situation, like my yard, my yard is not dead, not concerned about it at all. I think it'll have time to green back up, but if not, it would go into dormancy. No serious damage done to the lawn other than the unsightliness of it. I looked up the label for the bifenthrin on this Talstar product and it says for fall army worms 0.18 to 0.25 ounces of product for every thousand square feet. Now oftentimes a thousand square feet we equate to one gallon in a little handheld or backpack sprayer. So let's just say you had a four gallon backpack, you could put one ounce of product in a four gallon backpack go spray it. They recommend letting it stay on the lawn for 24 hours before you mow it or before it gets watered in. 
I don't think it takes nearly 24 hours, but that's what the label says. Now for today's purposes, I'm gonna mix it up in the small side of my Graham spray rig here. I'm gonna mix up about 10 gallons of solution. At two gallons per thousand square feet, I'm putting 1.25 ounces of Towstar in 10 gallons, and that'll give me a solution. Again, as you take a broader view of the entire yard, I'm not gonna spray the entire yard. I'm gonna spray the targeted area where they're actively feeding right now. If I was at a customer's house and they were in this situation, then I would probably go ahead and spray the whole yard to be on the safe side. I love that this towel star comes in a tip and pour jug, so I can go ahead and put that on 1.25 ounces, dump it into my small side of my split tank on my Graham spray rig, and then make the application. And that's how you take care of army worms. They're not hard to kill. You just want to try to catch them early on in the process before they turn your whole yard brown. Hope the video has been helpful. Leave me comments below. And just to let you know, it's been about five minutes since I sprayed the yard. I'm already seeing dead army worms. It's very fast and effective. The 24 hours is according to the label, but they're going to be dead much faster than that if you do this correctly. A few quick announcements. You want to go to the Equip Expo, use Creel 50 and you'll save half off. That's my last name, C-R-E-E-L. 50 and you'll save half off your ticket. If you need help starting a weed control and fertilization business, go to LawnCareLife.com. That's where you'll find the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy and other resources. If you want to come to the 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference, February 23rd and 24th in Springville, Alabama, near Birmingham, then go to LawnCareLife.com and click on the conference link. You'll see all the details. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel. Let me be the first to invite you to the 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference, February 23rd and 24th in Springville, Alabama, just outside of Birmingham. I've got my friend Paul Jamison, Alan Hain, Caleb and Brittany Allman, Jeremy Vest, Naylor Taliaferro, Jeremiah Jennings, and others coming, and hopefully you coming to this year's event. We've got seats for 300 people, and this year's gonna be bigger and better than ever. This is our fourth conference to do, and the early bird ticket prices is $197. That includes all your meals. We got a Friday night session, we got dinner, we got an after party, and we got breakfast and lunch on Saturday with day full of sessions. We've got equipment to ride on, giveaways, sponsors, it's going to be a great event, a lot of transparency, a lot of interaction, a lot of tips on how to grow your business, and a lot of fun. We hope to see you February 23rd, 24th, Springville, Alabama. I absolutely love Jason and Tracy Creole. They have humongous hearts of hospitality. They host a wonderful event. I attended it back in 2020, and I'm really looking forward to returning to Sweet Home, Alabama for the 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference. Hey guys, I can't wait to see you at Jason's event this February. There's going to be a lot of speakers giving as much value as they can, such as myself, as well as a lot of great networking opportunities. Hope to see you there soon. Hey y'all, I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Happy to let you know that I will be attending the Lawn Care Life Conference in 2024, February 23rd and 24th of 2024. This is Jason Creel's conference. This is the fourth year. I've been there every year. I'll be a keynote speaker this year, gonna bring you some fire. I'd say there's no better place that you can go to to, to get the tools you need to be successful. Like-minded people, good networking. I've learned a lot about growing my business more than anything here. I tell you what, this place could not be any better. We got a lot of great information, a lot of great speakers. The food was awesome. Jason Creel has done a very, very excellent job in uh, presenting this lawn care conference. Well, awesome to meet some of the guys that you follow on YouTube. You're around like-minded people who also want to grow, and you're listening to people who are just like you who are also growing. Definitely be coming back next year.